Okay, so, so far, eh. oh, I had it. Putting the camera down. Okay, so far, looks like it's gonna work. Um, basically, what's gonna have to happen is that this is going to have to sit there right it's going to have to be all the way to the one side and on this edge and all the way to the other side on here so basically i'm going to have to put a shim in there um, right over in this area so i am going to weld it okay so i've got this piece separated from here which apparently I'm not very smart because it took me a while to figure that out, but it's done now. So, anyways, there's the bracket. I actually had to remove a little bit more material here from the bracket because it didn't quite fit. Um, what didn't quite fit? The cylinder didn't quite fit in there, so to bolt it onto this side. So, now basically what I gotta do is I gotta do holes, drill holes here, um, and all down here. You can see there's a few. Um, so, here's the debate. That one on the right or the one on the left? The one on the right is just a regular screw. Uh, the one on the left is a metal screw. Um, so, If I use this one, I have to drill and tap the hole. If I use this one, I don't have to drill and tap, but I'm not sure if this is going to last as long. Um, it may, it very well could. Um, we use these a lot in a lot of our uh, construction that we do, so it could be just fine. So. I'll make a decision and get back to you. Okay, I was uh, determined to show you guys what happens when, uh, as this process occurs, and so this is one of the things that occurred during this. I welded these two parts together, as you can see from a previous part of this video, and I had them, I thought, pretty well lined up. Now that everything is all tight and snug in here, that is where this is ending up, instead of over here, instead of in more in line with this. Even with this all the way over to this side, I can't get it over here. So basically, one of these pieces is out by just a smidge. So I'm going to have to cut it off and uh, begin again. Okay, so what I ended up having to do was to take this piece here, when I put it on it, no matter after I cut it, I tried to reposition it and it wouldn't work because as soon as I clamped it shut, it pivoted and pulled this out of alignment again. So what I end up doing is putting this in the vise and giving it a little bit of a twist so that it now sits flush. So I'm going to weld this all up. Okay, so, we're in my two, day two. Um, so I decided that I am going to tap these. I think it's just going to be a better situation. That way I can remove this easily, if uh, this piece easily if I need to. So basically, if no, nobody's ever done tapping, you drill a hole. You get a set like this. You drill a hole. Um, that's going to be the correct size for your tap. And uh, basically what a tap is, is it cuts uh, uh, screws, cuts the threads for screws into metal. Or um, you can re-thread a bolt depending on, again, if you use the, the round ones, that's for re-threading a bolt, and these ones are for, uh, for cutting in threads into a piece of metal, such as this. 
So after all that drilling and tapping, couldn't use it anyways. This head was too thick by a long shot. So uh, what I did is I took the um, these sheet metal ones or these metal uh, metal screws, uh, put them in. They were still too high, so I had to grind off a little bit of the top. So I don't think it's going to affect the um, the uh, Robertson head there too much. I'll be able to still get that out. So okay, I've got a piece of angle stock here, one inch angle and this is going to attach to this piece here of the sliding mechanism and that is what the scissor and the uh, uh, cylinder are going to attach to. This is going to help to rigidize this little piece of, uh, piece of metal here. That's kind of my thing. I'm not sure how, how strong this whole mech is going to be, how strong this whole uh, sliding mechanism is going to be. But this is going to go a long way to, uh, to doing it. I've already checked to make sure that these little guys clear, and they do. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and drill. Okay, this is what I have discovered in this process. Um, because, and I'm thinking it's probably because of this, because this hole down here, because they may not be absolutely perfectly square or something on here isn't absolutely perfectly square. Um, what it's meant is that I've had to offset this bar here in order to give this a space to to travel. Um, it couldn't it couldn't do it when when this was just a straight line here. So I cut it and I welded it and offset it. Now that's caused a different set of issues because now basically my cylinder has to move over oh probably about a half an inch maybe more from where it was and I just don't have enough length of the bolt here. Um, I guess I could go and see if I can get a longer bolt and uh, and I think I'm going to actually do that. Just run out and uh, and get a longer bolt and see if that helps my cause at all. Uh, because then what I can do is I can put a shim in here and bring the bolt out and do this. If I can't find a longer bolt, and I'm sure I'm going to be able to, but if I can't that means I have to do more welding. Ooh, welding. So. Uh, yeah, that's where we're at right now. Okay, so I did end up having to get a longer bolt and that worked out fine. So that is now on there. There's a one inch spacer here just out of a uh, um, small chunk of square tubing, half inch square uh, uh, stock there. Um, this is about one inch and that's just to make sure, or a little bit better, about one and a half inches just to make sure that everything is uh, is straight. Obviously, I've got to get a longer bolt on here. But, everything is traveling clear. Okay, so I'm going to hook up the pneumatics to it and uh, get ready to go.